It's incredible. You have the SMB. It, it actually surprised a lot of people. But it seems that even the BOJ, everything was well telegraphed. Mm -hmm. So it was really the Fed giving hope with this risk on attitude. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, taking uh, the, the cue from the BOJ for a second, um, I think we've seen the exit from the negative interest rate uh, policy. But it's really interesting that even though they telegraphed uh, it really well and they have technically exited the uh, yield curve control policy as well, the backstop has not been taken away and markets have have run with that so you know we're seeing that uh, positive risk uh, for markets and when I tie it back to our uh, asset allocation views uh, Japanese equities are one of our key overweights but is there a concern Karine, in your mind that actually so you know the BOJ has hiked at last but actually it's not a liftoff this is not going to be a sea change mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the start of a new cycle with this rate hike exactly and this is why I would put the BOJ in a different bucket because this is the end of negative interest rate policy, this is not the start of a tightening cycle. They are still very firmly accommodative and in supportive uh, policy. Um, and then when we look at the, the, the Fed and, uh, and even the BOE to a certain extent, if we zoom out, the big picture is this is a good environment for risk assets yeah. because we are inching closer to rate cuts, even if they're not happening this week or tomorrow. Um, but uh, this is not the end of inflation volatility. We did have a couple of volatile numbers in January and February. And so when I think about the TAA, risk on, when I think about the SAA, I think getting more dynamic because of this uh, volatility in macro.